Hey guys, and welcome back to what we not including Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name's Twitchy, overseer of the LZ Alpha, where we have 10 duplicates making their way quite nicely into the future. We're down about cycle 230 at the moment, 229, looking very good. And for some reason, our water is still not chilling. Yes, last time we put that down, a whole bunch of um, chill pipes, little little radiant pipes out and about to make uh, radiators to make things cooler. And one of the things that we're trying to work on is trying to cool down this water over here. It's, uh, it's working, but it's taking a long time. It's taking a long time indeed. On the other side of the base over here, we have the natural gas generators that we are working on these are working beautifully of course the problem that we have right now is that our gas geyser is currently going dormant but i have dreams i have dreams of the future and the future involves plastic and i think we're gonna ooh, oh, oh man that's loud down there and i think we're gonna go uh try and make our way into the future of plastic using a, this oil down here and this oil down here we are going to turn into uh petroleum to start with and we might even take out one of these coal generators and replace it with a petroleum generator. But we're going we're gonna to turn stuff into petroleum. And the petroleum we're then going to turn into plastic. And whatever doesn't get turned into plastic will then go up to the generator. So let's go into here and have a look at the... I think actually the first thing that I want to do. Let's press F7. See this oxygen here? It's kind of in the way of building stuff. And I, and I knew it would be when I was putting it down. Um, if you go back to the episode where we were putting it down, I was like, this is a bad idea, it's going to be in the way, and what do you know, I was indeed correct about that. So I'm going to, yeah, that'll do. We're going to do this along this way, and then we want to put a little bit of a ladder rising up here to enable us to get through and fix everything. And we do also want to come across over this way, so I can start taking out these large bits of land that are still hanging around. And I suppose uh, that's really all we can do for the moment. Oh, look, we get some coal. Beautiful. Uh, and I will be back when some of this gets done. Also, while we're down here, there's a few things that have been bothering me about this setup. One of them is the door on this side. It's been letting a lot of cold out into this area, been melting, uh, not melting, freezing carbon dioxide, been having it drip down to the bottom and spread all the cold around. Uh, not about that. So I'm going to start working on uh, sealing this and replacing this door with insulated tile. So we're going to start by putting some tiles on the outside, and then when this door get, when that they get built, we'll take this door out and replace that with insulated tile. Another thing that's kind of bothering me, but isn't really a big issue, is we've got a Weaselwort seed just sat down the bottom here. I'm going to see if I can put him inside to help her chill down this stuff. You can see we're in, like, positive numbers for the hydrogen up here. That is uh, not acceptable, so we'll try and do our best to, uh, to drop the temperatures down to, you know, minus 30. That's where we like them to be. Just realise I'm going to need to move these ladders on the side here, because, of course, I want to put an insulated wall coming down this edge. Uh, I am tempted to, like, move it all out one, though, as well. Oh dear, the era of power crisis has begun. We've got a few generators working, but as you can see, all of our power is drained and empty. This is, of course, mainly down to the fact that our natural gas uh, geyser over here is dormant. But one of the things I'm going to try and do, do you see how effective these not oxygen sensors are at moving gases around? Down here, I see that we have an awful lot of natural gas all the way down to here, I think. So what we're going to do, I, I think this place is probably going to be the best place to do it. This is one of the places where... Um, duplicates tend to hang around and grab oxygen and stuff how about if we dig this out like this i think i think that's going to be a good shout and then we go for a bit of ventilation we want to take the gas pipe going up this way you can see that i have gone ahead and uh, moved around a lot of the gas pipes to uh, include bridges so that we can move things back and forth without interrupting the flow of this waste gas here of course, for that, we will need to hook up a gas pump. We will also need a few automation sensors. We're going to want the knock gate. Do I want it this way around? I don't know. I have a tendency to do it like this and then put the uh, gas element sensor. I would put it here, but there appears to be a little bit of a, um, a plant there. So no, no problems. We'll just go around, go up like that and put this like this. And then, of course, we need to sort out power because power is the number one. Oh, look, common denominator amongst all of the items here. And look at that, Mr. Lion already in for the digging. That's uh, literally just after I finished speaking. Beautiful, beautiful. Maybe cancel this down the bottom here. All right, nice, nice, nice. Is anybody going to come along and start doing the actual pipes? Maybe if we give it one of these, they will suddenly become the most important thing. And we'll get a whole bunch of natural gas moving up into the system from that. 
Ah, beautiful. All of this got finished. So let's go ahead and wipe out these pipes. That's not the way to do it. That would have totally wiped out a whole bunch more than I intended to. So we're going to wipe all that out. And I'm going to start thinking about where things are going to be going. So in the refinement here, we will have ourselves an oil refinery. Now, I know that I could do all sorts of magic by making this um, over some sort of like heat pool and then using the extreme heat to turn the oil into petroleum anyway. And we could siphon off all the stuff that we did. That That is way beyond my, uh, my technological capabilities right now. I'm not sure if you've noticed that I've only just got a little bit of a heating loop set up. Uh, so, a cooling loop, sorry. So, yeah, we're, we're a little bit not, not going to be doing that one. But if I put that up there, that's a beautiful. I would also like to take that out now. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Uh, and we're, this is how we're going to start laying out the, uh, the, the room in here. So I will just go around and figure out where things such as a floor are going to be at. Okay, this is a good set of uh, orders set up here. You can see Mad Frank's coming along and cutting off any access for people to go through. But, you know, that's all right. That's fine. I, I don't think all any of this uh, central ladder has been told to be deconstructed yet. So uh, that's that's also good. He, he's he gone and totally stranded himself, hasn't he? Uh, GG, man. GG. At least there was... That was some, like, pro plays there. I'm just going to take out this ladder and catch the ladder underneath. Good, good work, Mr. Frank. Good work. Over here, how is this all going? Unfortunately, because that ladder on the other side got built, Miss Aline got called away. She did do a whole bunch of stuff here, and Mimi was also doing a whole bunch of stuff. But now she's, um, what's she up to? Power supply. We're picking up coal. Oh, no, and now we're, now we're constructing. Uh, every now and then, the environmental suit balance is a, is a little bit off people can't get all the way through so obviously at some point we're gonna have to fix that um have i i, I could see it we're gonna have end up having like 10 environmental suits on each side and that still won't be enough no doubt mm, we're getting choked up again why is this can we can we just keep flowing there's really no need for you to be like that mm. power right it's gonna be power yeah, look at that. Okay, all right, that's the problem. Well, that's a good job we're working on a new power source right over here. Okay, so let's see what the printing pod has for us today. Rust, I'll take the rust, thanks. I mean, this is still transporting little bits of gas every now and then. Maybe at some point we'll be able to turn it over like once. 9.8 grams, wow. This pump is always at like micrograms or milligrams or whatever one that one is. <laughs> Okay, so we seem to be having some sort of overpressurization thing going on the on the go here. This has just been climbing up and up and up. So I've uh, given a little order just to hold this top door open. This should hopefully mean that the carbon dioxide that does get released drops down on top of this scrubber here and it's, it's just all easy, right? And we've got a little bit of a collection down the bottom here as well. Oh, look, this is ready to go. Uh, so uh, that, that should work out quite well as well. I'm not sure what I want to do about all the carbon dioxide down the bottom here. I mean... Obviously, what we're actually going to be ending up doing is dropping it down on any slicks that live in the iron, uh, oil biome all the way down here. Okay, Mr. Lime once again coming along and being the saviour of this particular area. There is still a little bit of a gap in the pipes up the top, so it's not going to instantly fire up. And as you can see, we do have power issues still, but it means that we can come along and set this... No, no, all right, you're going down and then over. Okay, that's, that's fine. I will accept this. But we're going to set this up as oxygen as normal. If not oxygen will then mean anything that's not oxygen here will be cleared out, whether it be natural gas, carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, chlorine. Oh, there's just so many gases we have to worry about. And the last one is in place. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, this should now just be pumping a whole bunch of gas out. Of course, it's going to be a bit of a pump a little bit, wait for the power to flow, pump a little bit more, wait for the power to flow. Uh, I don't know whether the power will flow, as in that we need to pass it through the uh, the filters here. And, and that, that could lead to a bit of power drain that we don't have to afford. Hmm. Also, what's going on over here? Still insufficient coal. Ah, no. Okay, one of the strongest coal patches I can find are actually off over in the side here. We're on the side of the cold area. Unfortunately, the only real way through is to continue this ladder down and try and go across sideways. Or we could just dig sideways. Maybe maybe we'll do that. Let's just let's just dig sideways. We no longer need to have the waterfall being quite so nice, but I am however let's start time again uh, i am however going to make it so it is still uh, enabling water to drop down that way because you never know we might find something up here that we need to drop down maybe an entire saltwater ocean up there Who's? one thing i do want to know is why is the coal always like surrounding a pretty serious ecology that you would ideally like to save uh, it's, it, it's painful every time it's almost like coal power is a destructive power to the environment ah uh, who knew who knew Oh, look, something's definitely been turning over. A little bit of carbon dioxide got spat out there. Look, even more's getting spat out. So, um, what, what I really want to know here 
It's how much heat are you giving to your environment every time that you turn over? That's uh, something that I don't know and would really like to know. Heat produced 10. 10. So the reason that I want to know that is because this can only deal with 80? Something like that? Where, where are you? Anti-entropy thermo nullifier. Somewhere here it tells me exactly what its uh, heat output is. And it's 80 uh, minus 80 killer duplicate units, whatever the thermal units are in this game. I I've lost the thing where it says, oh, we're waiting hydrogen right now because we're out of power. Oh, no. But there we go. Right in the middle of my screen there. Heat production minus 80 KDTUs. Hmm. Oh, it's a new one coming into the world. Welcome, snuggly little long-haired lava. What are you doing, Nini? What are you doing? Coming down here but not quite grabbing it because you don't have the breath. Oh, that's, that's a bit rubbish. Oh. So whenever Decipher comes in to groom this guy, this guy will run up to the door, grab a bit of oxygen and sort of like extend his life for just a little bit longer. Oh, he's doing quite well. Ten cycles until death. He'll just keep eating a little bit. I wonder how far he'll get. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. All right, so I've been trying to force Jelly to uh, to build all of that all down this way recently because they're just taking too long. They're just taking too long. As you can see, someone's come down and, and dug a fair bit. Actually, no, it was only this bit that got dug. This was already here, right? Uh, but we're getting, we're getting closer to getting the coal, which is very important because everything is shutting down from lack of power. Like, everything. It's uh, quite painful. Very quite painful. Oh, look, we could get two in here. Yeah, uh, yeah, I will. Thanks, actually. If we're lucky, tomorrow morning this line will just jump up and go straight to the dig site. I I'm hoping so anyway, I'm hoping so. Night time's rolling around very quick recently. It's uh, doing quite well, actually. Doing very well. I'm wondering whether we can move everything up and just give these guys one more tile headspace under there. I think that's kind of what I had the, uh, in the idea when I started building like this, because as it is right now, we can just drop these to the floor. It's a very interesting design, something nice to look at, but uh, yeah, that's... A bit of a waste, if you ask me. We're, like, that tile should be this tile, right? They're, they're, they're pretty much doing the same function, apart from this one here is stopping people running through. I can't, I'm not bothered by them jumping up and down, uh, but I would, would like them to be a little more efficient, if possible. Okay, so who do we have where? This should now be misaligned. Current errand, where are you? Hey, how's it going? I think we're just going to follow you around for a little bit because I'm very interested in getting this coal sorted, as I'm sure... You can imagine. I've been looking around for other sources of coal. There's a few up top. And in fact, I have found quite a few extra geysers around. It's amazing how they just kind of like hide very, very close. Should we show? Uh, I'll show you the one in particular that I was surprised about. You remember this pump up here? We put this up here a, a little while ago. But what's this right here? Right here. How have we never noticed it? Ah. All right, back down to Miss. Let's see if she has somewhere over here. Yeah, she started the digging. Good. Hopefully, um, due to the power of the nine, uh, we should be uh, getting moving. I'm also wondering what's all these uh, buried objects here. Like, this feels like the type of area where we might find a hatch again. I suppose that's really the only one I want to do. Let's, let's not dig those out. Is this fossil? Mmm, that's a source of lime, right? For making steel. Mmm, very nice, very nice. I'd also like to dig this out and let's see what we get. I'm kind of expecting this with an ultra high affinity for digging to stop at the ladders, turn around and take these two out. Uh, that'll be interesting to see. She might just... Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, so we got some, some sand or something. What is this? No, we got some uh, a water wart seed and I suppose that's going to be the same over here. Uh, fossil. Hey, can we just go through the full list of stuff here? Sedimentary rock sand, water wart seed. Yeah, that looks like that was it. I'm trying to figure out what that shell thing is there. Oh, it's the seed. Okay, fair enough. Another path of ecological disaster coming off from this main coal line so we can get to this other one. Uh, say what? Um, what's missed? Unreachable dig? I beg your what? <laughs> Alright, with a little bit of help from Luna, we should now have these ladders well underway. Hopefully she's going to miss being she. Uh, is going to get on and build the ladders? No, no, she's going to dig straight on through. Fair enough. It is your main directive. How about if we do this? Yeah, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Alert abuse is always our friends. Oh, she even knows to go. Oh, that's because that's where I put the nines. Okay, that's fair enough. I have just noticed that we are going to have a little bit of trouble being able to get across this gap if I don't do something like that. Okay, coal is falling from the sky. That is how people like it. Of course, forest and such forth are going to come running over here to try and pick all this up in a second. And once again, we need to uh, get our ladders going if we're going to be able to reach everything. 
Okay, hopefully Mad Frank gonna deal with the ladders before it becomes a point where Miss Align can't do any work and then she'll just run away. Oh, she's gonna come and help out anyway. Okay, that's good. Good good teammanship there. I like it. Good teammanship. Wondering where the coal carriers are though. They've they've not they've not showed up yet. Hello? Oh, look, this guy's now proper age. Uh, let's have a look. Ah, oh, it's still like 67% chance of long-haired lava. 30% of her uh, doing one of the normal ones, though. That's that's what we're really after, is one of these. Oh, yeah, just in that small time I looked away, look at all of this that's been dug out. It uh, looks like we could do with another ladder right there, but that's, that's fine. That's easy enough to deal with. Do we want to take this out? Now, now that we've got a better view, I might try and see if we've got bigger coal patches around. Yeah, that's the type of stuff we're looking for. Okay, let's drop... Um, I was going to say let's drop a ladder, but actually let's just start by taking this uh, algae patch out over here. Because we, we can use algae for stuff, right? Somewhere, sometime, someplace. I mean, unfortunately, I've taken away the oxygen um, generator over here. But I say unfortunately, that's because we're like fully pressurized. So that that is good. We've got a lot of idle people, I've only just noticed. Is it because of the uh, of the suits? Okay, let, let's, let's go really extreme and say, hey, can you disable this building for us? Because we're pumping everything out. It should still all be oxygenated over here, right? Right? Anybody gonna back me up there? <laughs> okay, cool. So now that the suit checkpoint has been disabled, hey, decipher, drop that suit. Just just drop that suit. Alright, beautiful, nice. Look, there's another two, one there and one there. Wow, just so many. Oh, the nights are passing fastly, but I did hear a little printer over here. Let's choose that blueprint. Let's have a look. Nutrient bar buffer. I'm going to go with the nutrient bars. Thanks. Oh, wait. food, always good. Uh, the only thing we need. Uh, in fact, we don't even need slicks anymore. Uh, yeah, I, th I think we're all right for the printing pod outputs now. Oh, oh in goes the weasel. Beautiful, beautiful. Can we um, also do that there? What are you missing? I hate the way that it goes red. I've spoken about this before. And it totally looks like it's just like too hot. You know what I'm saying? Too hot. It's not, though. It's just, it's just not working because of the fertilization, but it's how it looks, you know. Okay, there we go. Luna's just come along, giving it a little bit of phosphorite, and it's now too busy chilling itself down. This did come from a room where the average temperature is, like, somewhere between 40 and 18, so uh, I can understand why it's still warming up the hydrogen around it. Uh, do, I, do we actually have properties? Temperature is 18 degrees, so, yeah, it's going to take a little while to remove its own temperature, and then we'll be there. Beautiful. Okay, here comes the dig crew. This is going to work really well. I didn't quite see that this uh, big old cliff face was stopping me getting down there to begin with, so I've had to dig a slopey path, but that's all right. Hopefully, Miss is now going to dig that top out and then have these available to her to dig, and because I've put them as a much higher priority than all the rest, take them out before she moves down. Beautiful. What have you stood on? What did you stand on? <laughs> okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. This little Drake look coming along for the adventure. I'm not sure why I'm taking out all the algae like this. If that, now that I've stopped to think about it, I'm like, do I really need to? All I need to do is be getting down towards this coal layer over here. So we're going to do a dig like this, and then when we get down to here, I'm going to slam a ladder down like that. Beautiful. There's another one here as well. <laughs> I do wonder how many more I've missed that are literally like just on the same layers of my base. It could well be, but all of the ones I've spoken about so far have been. Did I point out this one underneath the iron volcano? I don't know if I did, but, but there it is. Also, we got this neural vacuolator down here. At some point, I will dig down there, but um, you can see we're, we're having enough trouble trying to deal with our base up this end. Oh, uh, I'll miss. I'll miss. What, what have you done here? Let's let's dig that out quick. You should be able to jump down, right? Jump down. Ah, oh, she did it to herself. She did it to herself. Now, can you jump down? I mean, kind of. I'm not overly... I'm really keen on what you're doing here, miss. I'm not over... Come, let's just dig down. All right, let's just, let's just get down to the ground layer. Anyway, whilst we've been going around doing all of that, all of this has got built. How great is that? It's got no liquid output, so I think the first thing we're going to do, probably clear all the ladders now that I've stopped to look at it. Uh, we'll clear all those out, and then over in the refinement, I'm coming down to the polymer press. We're going to put the polymer press almost all the way over here. Uh, because I would like to uh, not have to go too far. It's probably the same. I probably should have done the same for here. But we're going to leave room to, to expand with another oil refinery, if need be. I kind of feel like we won't, but if need be. Uh, and then we'll go uh, liquid pipe here. We're going to come out, down, and then this goes off to a generator? Question mark? I think yes is the answer to that question. 
big bonus with this uh, pump down here. We've got the sea of natural gas starting to recede and the oxygenated environment starting to move its way down. And what have we got up here? It's still all oxygen up here. Beautiful. A little bit of hydrogen, obviously. Even this is getting oxygenated with the hydrogen up there. We really need to fill this in and push all the hydrogen down over this way, though. I don't I don't think we're ever actually going to get around to doing that because that's a lot of effort for very small amounts of... Look at all the sunshine here uh, for the amount of actual payback we get off it. That's not the button I'm looking for. Let's look for it here. Temperature, light overlay. Look at it. Beautiful. Why are you glum? What, what's wrong? What, why, why, why are you not a happy bunny? Oh, you've not been uh, groomed. That's why. Just going to go through and put all the grooming stations at seven so that the cipher knows that that's what he's supposed to be doing rather than uh, loading up the loading up the fuel sources here. I mean, I suppose the hatchery, once we get our hatches back, will be the most important room at some point. Ah, oh, is that another downtime? Oh, it just happened so quick. So I've just been informed by all these uh, symbols around here that this needs polluted water for irrigation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start taking out these ladders and take out this pneumatic door as well. And we're going to put a pitcher pump in there instead. Uh, and then whenever we need polluted oxygen for anything, these guys can... Uh, polluted water, sorry, for anything. These guys can run up, nab a bit, and then this will carry on feeding stuff through. Yeah, it seems like a great idea to me. Yeah, beautiful. Lots of beauty in today's episode. I'm all right with that. Beauty is nice. Starting to get the impression that hatches are starting biomes only. That would make me sad. Are you still not dead? Okay, we need to take one of these out, and you just know we're going to end up taking the big one out. But that's all right. We'll take this out because that's where we want to take the liquid pipes. I think we've got the least clashing. Yeah, we can take that up and push it into there. Miss Light is totally going to come through and uh, destroy this now, isn't she? Uh, did we get the coal back? That, that's the main question, is do we get the coal back? It is a vital resource right now, but if we do lose it, then it's not the end of the world. I do, of course, want to come into here and look for my petroleum generator to replace it with. Uh, so that's nice that it fits in the same same area there. I like that very much. Man, this, this is taking time. Maybe, maybe it will burn through all its carbon dioxide at the time it takes for Mr. Line to dig this out. We will uh, never know. Well, I mean, we will know. We'll find out very, very shortly, in fact. And three, two, one. Oh, we did get the coal back. Okay, that's nice. That's oh, that's that's very nice. Thank you, Clay. Okay, down in the power we have the petroleum generator. As I previously said, we'll pop that in there, and then this will get made, and then everything will be great. No, we need pipes first. We need pipes. Uh, I uh, have gone through and changed the igneous rock because for some reason I was making granite pipes, which you know is not the end of the world, but it's not the local resources. So there we go. Okay, so we now have the oil pumping into the refinery. That's a good start. A very good start, in fact. Just need someone to come and turn that handle. It's one of the, the weakest parts of having this oil refinery is the fact that it needs to have a duplicate to come along and turn the handle. Is Mimi coming to deliver or is she coming to turn the handle? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, maybe. I don't know. No. I mean, Pat Power kind of just ended us there, but whatever. Oh, instead of moving on to the glorious new future, Mad Frank and Misaligned here holding on to the past of coal. I mean, I know it's people's jobs and it's quite important, but, you know, we need to move on, right? I wonder if this buried object is a hatch. We can hope, right? We can hope. Looks like we might get to find out now. Miss Line has uh, run out of areas that she can reach just to dig. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Let's see what we've got. Bam, Lily Seeds. I'm not overjoyed. I was definitely hoping this would have come on back online by now. Though so that said, pumping this out does appear to be giving us a fair amount of power. Not a lot, but a fair amount. It's a shame that we uh, don't have the power to keep the hydrogen flowing, though. I only have one one hot sensor. Not not terrible. Not terrible. Uh huh, uh huh. This has been broken and I haven't put it back yet. Uh, we want the plumbing. We want the pit, uh, pitch pump. I will do that, and I'll go, like, guys, this is super high priority fact. In fact, you know what? Let's just go, bam, come and get it done. Come and get it done, guys. Or come and get it done. Oh, no, either way, either way. Oh, I just realized that our baby slick is dead. When did that happen? I'm sad. Mad Frank and Luna coming to fix the problem that we've got. I'm hoping, so at the moment, this is not classed as a stable. I'm hoping this class is as a solid floor and not as a piece of industrial machinery, because these are a few requirements needed for the, uh, the, the, stables let's have a look over here we've got stables where are you there we go uh so we just need a grooming station minimum of 12 style tiles maximum of 96 so we can we can have this industrial machinery in here okay cool if this ends up being still too much room after this gets built we're going to drop a couple of um mesh tiles down there to see if that fixes the job did 
Have, have they not come? Hey, where, where are you? All the way over here? What? Okay, that's pitch pump in place. No, oh, it still classes it as outside of the stable. Why? Because it thinks it's the whole room. Okay, that, that's, that's okay. I had a feeling that might be a thing, but is this even a reachable... I don't, I don't know. Let's do this and find out. Okay, she can just reach all the way through there. That's pretty sweet. She's now going to build them as well. Oh, yeah, cool. We just need to wait. Oh, look at all this coal that's literally just accessible here. Oh, I didn't even see. Let's just dig that out at some point. Okay, so according to this, we're still like 110... Uh, sorry, we're still 10 tiles too much. So what I might do, one, two, three, four... Just kind of draw a line down the end here. Uh, yeah, about here. We'll put a door in the end because, you know, it might might be useful for something and see if that sorts out the uh, the stabling issues. Oh, oh, Forrest turns the handle. Let's see if we got any liquids coming out this way. That's cool. We got no gas output. Wait, what? I didn't know we had to have a gas output. Okay, what does this output? Let's have a look over here. Ha, it produces carbon dioxide. What I might do because... We've got a bit of an over overpressure situation over here. Is just throw it into the waste gases, which if I know my lines, which I don't, is this one right here. Okay, that's fine. We can just go across like that. Beautiful. <laughs> I was just wondering where Frank was because he wasn't doing all the digging. It look, looks like we're overworking them and underfeeding them. We, we should um, probably try and do something about that. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, is there some food dropped all the way down here? Okay, fair enough. I suppose it is downtime. I don't think you're going to make it all the way back home before uh, before you decide that you want to sleep. I, I, we've got some big problems with this sort of thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should have a look at our food. Though, of course, people are trying to get like the best quality food that they can or something like that. So that, that could lead to them going for a bit of a trip all the way across the base. How are people doing over here? They... they are, all eating well even though they have to share the toilets maybe the lack of toilets might be a reason why people aren't being able to sleep overnight i did notice last time whilst i was watching them, let's actually speed them up last time whilst i was watching them overnight that you, they're constantly waking up coming down to use the toilets and then when someone leaves someone else wakes up comes down and has to use the toilet yeah uh, i i maybe see a bottleneck in our daily routine here let's uh let's choose a blueprint see what we got a bit of copper or yes please ah like we've never had any copper i don't think watching forest you'd think that my game was still sped up but no 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 we're going back down to normal speed here they really do shift around i love it oh i don't think he's been able to grab any uh oxygen for a little while he did make it up to maybe nearly age 20 that's pretty good we got halfway through his reproductive cycle so i mean that's that's pretty sound. I, I wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting dead by by before being a, an adult, in fact. Dead dead in the baby stage, but no. Oh, look, a mad Frank doing the actual job set. Great. Okay, uh, well, that's all the gas pipes hooked up, and now we should just get a bit... Ah, oh, power. Ah, oh, power. But I suppose that's why we are now trying to allow the petroleum to flow through and up to the natural get generator there. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll start getting some plastics very soon. Okay, Mad Frank coming in with the last pipe there. All right, let's watch the liquids flow. You can see they're going to go head on past the polymer press. I don't know whether this has actually picked up everything it needs. Let's have a look in here. Uh, plastic, petroleum, petroleum. Okay, so it doesn't pick up everything it needs. It does need a constant supply, though it does have um, a bit of thing. Why steam? Why is it filled with steam? Where does the steam go? Does the steam just drop on the floor? Is that something I have to worry about? I mean, that's nothing that I can't deal with. We'll just put some... Yeah, we'll just put some mesh tiles underneath and let the water drop down here. But I don't know where it's going to go and I don't know what I want to do to deal with it. Uh, if it's fresh, clean water, maybe we'll just catch it underneath. Yeah, let's... No, we're just, just going to wait and see. We're just going to wait and see. The steam is not 100 degrees, though, so I'm a little disappointed in that. Okay, here comes some petroleum. Uh, my man Forrest there, is he? Yeah, yeah, my man Forrest is going ahead uh, and allowing this to work. It's a little disappointing that he's got to be stood there spinning that the whole time. More disappointing is the fact that we're using a lot of crude oil to do that. Okay, but more to the point, is this going up and doing a little bit of power generation? Because that would be great. Let's uh, let's let's wait. Let's watch it. Uh, let's speed it up just a little bit to get us up there. Okay, that's good. And now I want to see what's going on. Hey, with the petroleum, 2k power wattage, uh, 20k. Oh, that's that's expected. Why have we got polluted water all over the? Does this does this output polluted water? Is that is that something I need to worry about? Mm, okay, no problem. 
might require a small redesign over here, though. I mean, we've got a polluted water thing just here. So I didn't like what was going on over here with the polluted water getting spilled out onto the floor where all the coal generators and stuff were. It just seemed messy to me. I can deal with the fact that we're getting uh, water, actual water, going to come out down here. That's fine. It'll drop down here. It'll freeze and then it'll get taken up via the magic of ice to here. Oh, man. 15 tons. When that... When that falls, we're going to have troubles. But yes, as I say, I have taken uh, this this uh, petroleum generator over here. Well, not that particular one, but I've made a copy of it. And I put it down here. I then put a pump underneath so that we could run the polluted water that it spills out into the polluted water line, which comes up to the pinch of peppers and the uh, the puff farm up here. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I've put some uh, airflow tiles in the side here as well to continue the carbon flow out. Oh, yeah, little rearrangement. Should take some time, but it's going to be worth it. But we have reached a real serious critical point in the base where we don't have any oxygen flowing because we have run out of power. This is not as bad as it seems. It is quite bad, don't get me wrong, but not as bad as it seems as we have a, um, a gas vent over here about to come out of its dormancy in about half a cycle. Okay, first downtime down. If that's a phrase we're going to use. And the petroleum generator itself has been dug out. And a lot of the uh, polluted water is starting to wash down here. That's a good place because you know what? That is exactly where we want it to end up. Let's have a look at what's going on with our natural gas geyser. It's not dormant anymore, but it is idle still. So hopefully, I mean, 99 seconds to go, we will be able to see it erupt. And um, I don't know if the cooling is going to be running. Because it's out of power by the time by the time this is running so hopefully we don't end up pumping gas that's just too hot and end up frying this whole place we, we can hope right we can hope and the reason that i was so worried about the cooling system is as you can see the gas that is erupting from here comes out 130 125 degrees it actually comes out 150 but gets uh, dissipated over this entire area and thus loses a bit of its punch uh, but hopefully the, the system here is going to help us keep the temperatures down enough to be able to pump through a gas that won't instantly fry everything. Uh, we do still have a good healthy supply of chilled uh, chilled hydrogen sorry, coming in from the left here and none of the uh, sensors have triggered. So it, we should, fingers crossed, as long as we have enough power to get pile the gas pump, uh, have enough systems to keep this entire generator system turning. I've just noticed the Mad Frank and Misaligned are in exosuits despite the fact that we turned the checkpoint off. Also, someone else is in one somewhere. Who is it? Uh, whoever it is, I've just gone through all the names and I can't see who it is. Anyone here? No, no, no. Ah, there we go. It's Luna. Okay, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Okay, I've got all the uh, atmospheric suits off everybody who was still wearing one, but I've also set up the place to uh, set up the, the checkpoint to be flowing again because we've got this uh, this pump working full blow over here. Though I am a little bit worried that it seems to be pulling a vacuum and not enough seems to be flowing in for it to actually uh, stay constant if we have a look at the flow here. Actually, no, that's kind of good. I'm not overly impressed with what's going on here. Like, I would like to see more flowing over this way but the power seems to be fine at the moment definitely more than enough to run all the the uh, the cooling systems that we have up at ah oh, now that i come down here they're all like nah 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 i'm not go i'm not going to show you a working system but it seemed to have been working enough for a cooling system over here and of course we've still got this going up here but we are very close uh, what we need now of course is to get a bit of plumbing liquid pipe coming from there to over here and i think we're going to deconstruct this one and uh, again back in that liquid pipe view i'm going to deconstruct these pipes here okay i was just planning on how to fix this i think what we're going to do is take some power go for some heavy watt wire go across the top here and down this side but i'm going to make that a super low priority because this isn't going to get done until the uh the the gap the geyser becomes dormant again possibly i might get to it sooner I, I i'm not sure but i want to move this up and i want to take out this heavy watt wire uh these are not reachable unfortunately so we'll have to try and put in some sort of ladder system going across the top that doesn't want to place yeah i thought we might have a bit of problems there how about if we come up this way okay that's a little bit better uh again still it's going to be uh be some time before people can come in here Okay, I made a small mistake there. Whilst we were taking out some of the piping, obviously a bit of petroleum dropped down. What I should have done is taken out the generator up here and connected this one up first. And then all the liquids that were in there would have drained down. And I think all of the liquids would have drained down anyway. But, uh, yeah, we now have a little bit of petroleum we need to deal with in here. I'm not sure how much we need to deal with it, honestly. It could probably just stay there. 
So the petroleum is definitely doing damage to our machinery here, but I'm not overly worried about that. We are now producing plastics. We are producing power. We have cooling systems on the go. And with that, I am going to say... Thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. Well, we're going to keep pushing on with the uh, technological advancement that we've got. I think maybe it's time to work on some, uh, some metal refinement. We've got a little bit on the go up there, but, man, we could do with some big industrial processes. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!